these are really traumatic events and they are so disruptive to the organization as a whole and to the people within the organizations. Following a recent cyber attack at the University of Winnipeg, where the personal information of thousands of students and faculty going back over two decades was targeted, a cybersecurity expert says this type of attack is not a matter of if, but when. The thing about universities is they're very big complex institutions and they collect a lot of information and data that is very attractive to cyber criminals. So that puts them really at the top of the list in terms of attack targets. Kathy Knight, former executive director for the Cybersecurity Center of Excellence at the Manitoba Institute of Trades and Technology, says cyber criminal tactics are constantly evolving, which means organizations and their people need ongoing and rigorous security training to minimize risks. You can have all of the technical uh, barriers in place, you can have the best firewalls, you can have some of the best policies, but what is the most probably challenging part of that whole risk management scenario is, is how your people respond. Knight says breaching an organization is easy as it only takes one person to click a link they're not supposed to. With many schools turning to online learning over the last four years, the risk is higher than ever. We're kind of a lot online with all of our courses and everything that way, which is, which is good for education standpoint, but maybe we'll be less focused on the online aspects of the, the school after this. LaRue's information was stolen in the cyber attack, but with the breach coming during exam time, she's had to prioritize school rather than locking down her information. I've been more focused on trying to trying to get all of my information in line for exams and on studying because that's a bit more of a priority right now than the potential that my information is being used. Knight says it's all about laying out the risks after a breach. She recommends everyone whose information was stolen to call their banks, change passwords on applications, and enable multi-factor authentication. The University of Winnipeg has offered a two-year credit monitoring service, which LaRue says she'll be using. In Winnipeg, Joanne Roberts, City News.